to another episode of Demand Space. Coach Marcin and I are absolutely delighted week after week to feature different gentlemen from different parts of the world with different walks of life. And you may ask, Dr. Cass, Coach Marcin, why do you do that? We live in a world where there is so much support system and conversations about empowering women. And empowered women need very thoughtful, mindful, and empowered men to share their lives with. So we can't facilitate the growth of one half of a society and not invest in the other half of a society if we want to see social progress. So with that in mind, we take great delight and great honor in talking to guests and featuring their stories and what has worked for them and how have they learned from life and how others can take a page from that and create their own journey. So to have this conversation today is a amazing individual with a lot of talent that is gonna blow your mind. Marcin, take it away. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Cass. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to our podcast, Men's Space. And uh, we have a very special guest uh, that I have met uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Ian Maxson. And Ian Maxson is a, a very famous, uh, popular, and uh, very gifted musician uh, that speaks in five languages and sings in 27 languages welcome ian i am we are i am we are very happy to have you on our podcast show and we are here to learn about you hear your story you know how did you become uh, the person that you are today and uh how did you do it hey marcin great to uh great to see you and thank you so much for having me um well, you know, it's been it's been quite a journey. Uh, let me tell you, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been very long, and uh, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for where I was, you know, a long time ago, and I was in a completely different place back in the day. I grew up in the former Soviet Union, namely in Russia, um, and um, I. My family was very musical, and I uh, attended uh, a music school from an early age. I really didn't think of music as uh, as a profession. I just I thought of it as a as as a way of life because uh, music was all my my entire life was music. So I actually wanted to become a, a pilot, uh, and um, music was with me for throughout my whole life. And uh, at some point, I realized that. Um, it was actually my mission to share my music, uh, share everything I've learned with other people, and uh, give them something that they they needed. They that something that they um, they could get out of my music beyond just mere entertainment uh, value of it, but something deeper, something more profound, and uh, something um, that's, um, in a way um, a healing experience, if you wish. So that is interesting. You talk about music as healing. I come from the South Asian tradition that believes that music is vibration and our DNA and our soul relates to and resonates with that vibration. And that vibrational energy is the start of meditation and it is also start of your physical and spiritual healing. So what you're saying totally resonates for me. I Absolutely. am extremely... Uh -huh. And I am extremely curious about the fact that you speak five languages and you sing in 31 languages. And whichever language you speak in, you're bringing out this vibrational experience to calm and soothe the humans experiencing it. What got you to that place and how did you learn that many languages to sing it? Well, uh, that's a very interesting point, um, and it took me a long time to figure it out, like what uh, music was really about, and uh, that what you just said is exactly where I'm at right now in my uh, musical journey. Uh, but I wasn't there, say, 30 years ago. I was there intuitively. I knew as a kid I couldn't put my finger on it. I knew there was something in music beyond just uh, uh, a bunch of sounds. It was something a lot more profound that uh, touched me deeply as a child. Uh, it um, comforted me. It uh, uh, 
provoke, provoke deep emotions. And uh, uh, as I went on and as I went through my own spiritual journey, my own spiritual transformation, I uh, realized more and more um, exactly what you said, um, that music um, had these healing powers. Um, as I started learning about uh, meditation, as I started learning about coherence, vibrations, all of those things, I realized that uh, uh, cello, namely cello, uh, the instrument that I play, has these amazing um, uh, frequencies, um, amazing vibrations that um, it um, really facilitates um, the healing, facilitates getting into an altered state uh, without um, any drugs, without any medication, and um, it helps you uh, from that altered state, it uh, helps you perform all sorts of, um, as I say, uh, uh, surgeries uh, on on yourself, on your subconscious, on your subconscious mind, and uh, uh, helps you um, get to the place where you really want to be. Um, and um, for me personally, I, I know I've uh, music has always been there for me uh, there, and uh, I feel extremely fortunate and grateful that I can do it for for other people as well. No, that is that is so powerful because you know what it's like when we talk about energies frequencies and vibrations is how when we tune in and how you know different sounds of music uh act you know and on our mood that we have and i remember when i you know attended your event uh i haven't experienced uh such such a feeling in my life when you played on a cello when you had other instruments involved and when you sang in other languages as well, to me, it, it just took me, you know, to the era of, of, of the movies that I used to watch. Hey, that you take me to Paris, you take me to Italy, you take me to France, right? Different types of countries through music where I can visualize myself, hey, walking maybe with someone or sitting under a tree and things like that. So, Ian, there are many men out there, you know, uh, in our communities and our societies that are looking for ways to help themselves right and you know they maybe they try different ways of alternatives you know what what would you tell them you know about hey why they should you know maybe listen to cello or you know what look into sound healing energy because for me i i love going on youtube as well and just tune in hey uh, 528 megahertz love energy, right? Or 777 hertz uh, abundance energy and, and things like that. So what would you tell, you know, what, to maybe an individual audience like that never thought about, you know, what uh, listening to certain sounds for healing? Maybe they're going through anxiety, depression. Well, um, since we were talking about languages, I do believe that music itself um, is a universal language that goes beyond um, um and helps us connect even if we don't speak the same language i go to different countries where i do not speak the language and uh, i connect with people through music almost instantly it takes sometimes maybe five ten seconds to get on the same wavelength and uh, have a, a very profound connection much deeper than uh, you might have with somebody who you speak the same uh, language with having a conversation having a casual conversation and uh, I do believe that that's something very important that can bring us together, especially in times where um, we are torn apart by politics, we're torn apart by uh, uh, social uh, issues, and um, uh, there's a lot of things, there's a lot more things that uh, tear us apart than bring us together, and we really have to hold on to every um every little bit that can bring us back together. And I do believe music is on the very top of that list. As far as um, uh, musical uh, healing is concerned and, uh, you know, going through different things, I've also gone through different um, hardships in my life. I've gone through a very painful uh, divorce at uh, sort of, it was at that time when I, um, and I, you know, I had a little kid with me. I was a single father. It was at that time I realized that I really had to put myself back together and back put myself back together very quickly. Um, that you know, you feel this sort of toxicity inside you, and you feel, you realize that uh, it's uh, um, 
it's destroying you both physically and mentally and physically to a great extent i do believe that um as as men actually i'm sorry from ju- jumping from one thing to another but i don't i know we don't really have that much time but as men um especially um men for example that grew up in eastern europe and i'm sure you can relate to that we had this very strong burden of masculinity that we had to wear from a very early age you know we're not allowed to cry or uh, um uh, even feel any emotions like you were uh, embarrassed to even be feeling any any sort of emotions that that uh, could be considered unmanly and all of that stuff is is being driven under the rug and um um deeper and deeper into our subconscious to the point where we destroy ourselves you know i look at um my countrymen and um not only it's like i it's, it's pretty universal but probably to a greater extent in di- in different parts of the world i'm sure in the middle east and uh in southeast asia same thing uh where uh, you have to learn to play a certain role and to a point where you're not allowed to feel and when you're not allowed to feel it uh does um catch up uh, with you and uh, starts destroying you physically, but both physically and mentally. Um, um, and we end up destroying ourselves, you know, getting sick, um, getting, you know, getting mentally destroyed and uh, getting engulfed in all sorts of uh, addictions um, as, uh, as a result. So and, I'm uh, so glad that you are taking the conversation to address two of mission critical elements that we are facing in the world today. People are looking for ways to identify how we are different instead of finding ways to connect us. And the fact that music is one of them is so important. Food is another, right? Food and music have the potential to unite us. They are joyful. And when you're around music and food, everybody is smiling, everybody is happy. And then the energy becomes that exuberance and vibrancy. And then that can help offset this toxic masculinity we have forced men to get into. And men don't choose it. They are forced in there. And then we blame them for it. And I am a believer that women who are mothers and sisters and wives should understand it, step into it, and be a part of the solution. The same way good, strong men have stepped in to help women get out of the oppression, right? It takes both genders to come together. So from where you sit, through the journey you have come through, how do you see the men and women working together to overcome this artificial barrier we ourselves have inadvertently created? Because it's not working for us. That's a really great uh, question. I do believe that empathy is something that um, is probably the key element in any sort of um, in 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 this process. And uh, I do believe that uh, also music can help us with empathy. And um, once we have that, once we realize that we are different, we cannot. We we have to get outside our own. Um, our own bubble sort of outside our own world and uh, understand that um, that it's different for, for other people, whether it's um, um, culturally, whether it's uh, gender, whether it's uh, religion, uh, all those things, um, we have to understand that um, there is no universal uh, truth in that sense and that um we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different values and we have to learn to um, respect those things. I think that's what it comes with empathy and respect. If we can establish that, everything else is going to uh, come along very, very um, much, much easier um, already. So I think that's that's really the, the first and foremost, most important element And music uh, can it can definitely be um, a, a great tool uh, for that. And I know it can be because I, uh, by playing, by witnessing, by having uh, testimonials from people from all different parts of the world, I know that it can help us develop that sort of uh, empathy 
uh, that that can help us move on, uh, whether it's uh, relationships between men and women, whether it's relationships between countries, but between um, between uh, different uh, social uh, categories of, of people that don't don't get along. Now, I love that, you know, music empathy uh, brings us together because, you know, <clears throat> you see when I went to the event, you see so many people that are, you know, hey, maybe they're couples, they're they're new uh, people that are just dating. And you just see the connection, how you said food and music, how it unites us, right, connects us together uh, where, you know what, you, you, you get this feeling, this vibe, what we turn into when we are in the audience listening to that music uh ian what what is what drives you right what what motivates you to continue you know produce new music to travel and to you know become who you are and what what's next for you well i think the the feeling of gratitude is is the is what uh is um sort of the key uh feeling in my life right now i mm -hmm. wake up with that feeling i start morning meditation with that feeling and i go to bed with that uh same feeling be feeling grateful to be able to do what i love uh, and to be able to uh give something to people something meaningful um and uh make a living by doing that and um uh, there's really nothing else that I wish for except to knowing that that's my mission and knowing that it does make a difference in people's lives and knowing that it can make a difference in um, the sort of infinite number of, of uh, people's lives. I do feel I can make a, a big difference by getting my music out there and uh, getting it out to um, as many people as I can, hundreds of thousands, millions of people in different parts of the world, uh, reaching out to new countries, new communities, um, um, putting um, new countries on, on my tour map, on my travel map, hoping to add uh, North Africa uh, and some more countries in the Middle East uh, in this upcoming year. And uh, I do believe that um, this this can make a, make a huge difference on a global scale. Absolutely. And your message, your presence are very powerful, Ian. So thank you for showing up from that place of peace and authenticity. Because true lasting social change has been brought to us by musicians and artists, right? It's not the politicians who bring about lasting social change. It's musicians and other artists. So the work you're doing is so very important and I am truly moved by your journey and the work you're doing. How can other people get a hold of you and know your music schedule and tour schedule and come and listen to your music or benefit from what it is that you're putting out in the world to heal? You're literally healing souls. How can mm -hmm. people choose that and be around you when you are there? Um, before I before I do that, uh, if you allow me just uh, 20 more seconds, I meant to mention um, one book that really made a huge difference in my life lately. As I said, it's been a really long journey and uh, I keep learning and I keep uh, finding uh, new ways to learn um, how I can help myself uh, become a better person and how I can help other people with um to, to get to a better place. And one book that I recently read um, is uh, the New Earth by uh, Eckhart Tolle. Um, I have that book. It, uh, it's an incredible book um, that uh, I think everybody should uh, read it and try to make sense out of it because um, it really um, sort of pretty much uh, explains every, the it, it cons sort of consolidates everything and explains why, uh, you know, we all have troubles that we that we have. Um, it all has to do with pain, with inherent pain that um, we all uh, have as part of our lives. We're born with it already. Some people have more of it. Some people have less of it. And it sort of defines our our life as uh, you wish me, you could call it karma, you could call it um, anything else um, you you wish, but uh, the but uh, it's it's all it's all the same. And I do believe that our goal, my goal as a as 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 a human being, is to overcome 
uh, that pain body and to help other people um, sort of come in terms with, with theirs. I, I do believe that once we address that, once people uh, learn how it works and th that it's very easy actually to, to address it. And um, I, I do believe that, um, you know, our entire civilization is going to be ready to move on to a, a new stage, a stage of, um, you know, enlightenment and consciousness. Uh, so I think we're really close and we have a chance um, at that. And I do uh, believe that there's a lot of people who are uh, sort of um, on the same wavelength right now that can um, get together and uh, help, um, help us all um, get there. Uh, where we need to get. As far as um, connecting with me is concerned, the, the easiest way is to go to my official website, which is my first name plus last name at uh, dot com, I A N M A K S I N dot com, and um, you can from there you can find me on social media. From there you can. Um, there's a form, email form. You can contact me directly. It's going to be in my cell phone five seconds later. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to anyone um, about um, pretty much anything. Um, I My concert schedule is also posted there. Like currently, I have probably about 30 concerts in uh, North America and Canada and the United States. And uh, hopefully, that schedule is going to get filled up with more dates around the world for the rest of the year. And I'm always open for any um, either private events or any public events. So if anybody wants to reach out and um, schedule something in their community, I'm uh, always open to any of those uh, opportunities. Thank you. Thank you, Ian, uh, for your time, uh, for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. And I, I really do admire you, the work that you do uh, through, you know, playing music, through healing so many uh, individuals out there because... Uh, we really do need it. The world needs, uh, you know, healing energies. There's just too many men and women are, are living in emotional traumas uh, that they're going through and a lot of support, you know, is needed. And I believe that, you know what, hey, we all here are the chosen one, you know, by God, by universe, whatever you believe in, you know, to help one another. Because like I, I, I see this, uh, that, that, you know, many need support and i want to tell you know let our audience know that hey, you are not alone that we are here for you dr kaz i you know ian reach out to us uh we will help you guide you with you know we have a big networks of individuals that you know what we can connect you with so thank you thank you dr kaz thank you ian you know for this amazing another uh podcast tonight and uh i love this i'm enjoying this journey that you know what that we are helping you know many out there in in, in the whole world uh and you know what i i really enjoy it and i appreciate it, every single one that you know what is is watching us that is supporting the work that we're doing thank you so thank much you so thank you so much Ian. i know you just got off of a flight after a concert and you so graciously showed up to have this conversation and we are very grateful and most of all, I am truly appreciative of the fact that you have brought the conversation to the fact that even when we don't know how to feel or talk about feelings, music opens the floodgates and takes us there. Music is a place where we can truly let go of all the human created barriers and be present in the moment to feel because music has the power to evoke even when we shut out everything. So thank you for being a example of what that feels like. And truly, even when you talk, you bring out the emotion in you. Talking is maybe in your own way is like singing too. So thank you for having that presence and to our audience out there. If you ever feel like you don't understand or nothing is resonating for you, find your music, find your instrument, find the artist who is going to resonate for you. Because as humans, our DNA is vibration. And you will see even animals bounce to different music because those vibrations are resonating for their DNA. Find your resonance, find your vibration. Find your inner music and through that you can connect with the deeper soul that you are and find your own purpose in life. 
And Ian, thank you so much. And to our audience, thank you. Find your music and just dance to it.